All right, so we got... Oh, Michael has switched it up. All right. Michael is on Mono Blue Temple, and we got Reese back here with his Grixis mid-range. Well, I guess, actually, he sort of switched it up. He was playing Mono Red, like the Hazret Mono Red, for a long time. Oh, yeah. And I guess this is this is pretty much the closest replacement to that deck, because the new Mono Red is nothing like... No. Yeah. yeah. Nothing like the old one. Yeah, this Mono Blue Temple deck feels a little bit more like that to me. Sure. Oh yeah, Zerner is a great card, no matter what art you use, but uh, I agree with the end of the original one is way more iconic. Don't think I was born then. It was 1995, buddy. Yep. Was not. Yeah. Good old Zern Orb. That's, that's like my, my, my goal here as a commentator, is to make the rest of you guys feel really old. Well, you have succeeded. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not even that much older than you. I know. Although I was in high school when you were born. Yeah. Right? When you were born? 2000? 98. Oh, no. I was in middle school. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. This is round three. It is. It is. 8.05. This will be our last round of the evening. Let's ask Loretta how you're doing. You make Loretta feel old? Yeah. <laughs> Seeing as I'm like... A year older. I don't know, like a year or two older than Reese. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so we have both players shuffling up. Reese ready to go. How are you favoring in this matchup? It's a tough one. I think Mono Blue Temple, just that it's it's a little bit simpler to operate. Doesn't have as many moving parts, and it has a lot of threats. Yes, yeah. I agree. Reese Reese is gonna have to think out lines of play, whereas Michael can pretty much just jam threat after threat. What are we reading about? Um. So, our store was in Hawaii Five-0. Yep. Made an appearance in last night's episode. It was pretty cool. If you guys had the opportunity to come down, please do. We do have that prop comic on display, as well as some of the signage and stuff from the episode. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, if, uh, as you walk in the front door, look to the right. If you're also a fan of the Zero Orb back in the day, it, I mean, that card, it's sweet, dude. All right, opening hands here. Reese lands, syncopate, some other stuff. Yeah. That was not. I was reading chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Th two Thought Erasures. Michael's hand. Two lands, Merfolk, Tricks, uh, Tidebinder, uh, Wizard's Retort, Spell Pierce, and a Tempest Gin. I think I keep it. What is the Merfolk's name? I don't think that's right. It is Merfolk. Trickster. Just Trickster? I believe so. It's one that makes him a 1 1 until end of turn. Moves all abilities. Yeah. Taps him. Yeah. yeah. I believe it's Trickster. Alright. Thought Razor. Uh, Spell Pierce. Yep. Yep. No surveil. No surveil. That's a big old ha ha, you Reese. <laughs> yes, this is standard showdown. That's Reese drawn of Rasta's contempt. You what? Standard is pretty fun right now. Agreed, but it's still pretty you. It's not standard. I mean, it is standard. It's it is. Not, it it's is. not legacy or. Technically, commander. yes, it is standard. Yeah, it's not legacy or commander. Worst format. I can think of worse formats. Uh, sealed. Sealed is a worse format. I prefer draft over sealed, yes. Oh, me too. I don't like either of them. I know you don't. <laughs> I haven't played the Kickback Exclusives yet. Uh, I have the Mammoth in my commander, one of my commander decks. Which ones? The Aggressive Mammoth. The Giftback has five cards that are only available. Oh, on those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sealed is fun. Sealed is... 
Sealed is luck driven. It is very luck driven. More so than usual. Let's see. I do like the the idea behind it that everybody's on an even playing field, but yeah. I mean, if I open five garbage rares and Fox opens five really really good rares. Yeah. All right, so we do see this is off of the Thought Erasure. So you take care of that Tempest Gin. Yeah. The uh, tricksters aren't going to do much to Reese. Michael They're going to end up being two twos. Uh, trickster here at end step and then Curious Obsession on main phase. Pretty good. I don't think the trickster has flash. It does have flash. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Legacy strictly versus vintage. Ah, <laughs> uh, vintage is an unhealthy format. You know, Lone Gopher. <laughs> Old school is a lot of fun. It does have flash, yeah, yeah. It does. He just played it with flash. I wasn't what? I was reading chat. I did that. I pulled a fox. Hey, you pulled a fox. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's not a. I mean, that's not a good thing for. No, for and to be Michael is now. holding a wizard's retort here. Yeah. Uh, there's a thought erasure. I re I think you oh, have yeah. to wizard's retort. You it. definitely carry this. Yeah. And tap hidden for another three. Draw some more cards. Yep. Yeah. EDH best format. Look. Well, should come down and play some Commander there, Thunder Salt. Last Friday of every month. And every opportunity we get every time we're here in the store. <laughs> some of us, yes. Yeah. Me especially. Yep. And there's a second character's obsession on... <coughs> Excuse Ooh. me. So that's hitting for four. He's going to be drawing two cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. We have the Storm Tamer to protect the Trickster... Curious Obsession, one blue man and chat creature. Uh, chat creature gets plus one plus one. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Beginning of your end step, if you didn't attack by the creature this turn, sacrifice Curious Obsession. Last Friday, but where? At Another Realms, segue. the comic and game specialist. Right behind the Best, Best Buy, Buy and Nimitz Hulay. Center. Yep. Nimitz Center, Honolulu, Hawaii. Yeah, those those ads, hilarious. The, the current ones running on the radio. The, I think I heard one. Oh, they're pretty. They're pretty bad. <laughs> talks about our stream. I know that it does. It talks about the stream on the YouTube channel, but it's so over the top. I like it. I like it. <sighs> it makes me feel very proud, though, because like you know, you hear on the radio, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna check it out, and it's me. You know, <laughs> could you commentating? So Michael's in a real good spot here. Reese is. He's trying to play catch up. Yep. With that storm tamer out too, oh. that's problematic for Reese. <laughs> and another counter spell. And another in wizard hand. retort in hand. This is great. There's another four coming in. Or five with the storm tamer. Yeah. We're gonna draw another two cards. Yeah, Michael's super far ahead here. Yeah. Trying to comp I just like one place in the oil where you know you'll get an honest deal. Per way five oh. It's right. true. Yeah, I hope we got some good uh, uh advertising from the uh five oh. All right. I need more stuff to say when I get back. I actually haven't seen the episode yet, so I'll probably watch a clip of it if I can find it, just to see, just to see the story. Reese here looks like a moment of craving to deal with the Siren Storm Tamer. Michael might just let this go through, or instead he will be Wizards retorting the moment of craving. Does Reese have a follow up removal spell? Maybe a cast down in hand? Oh, that was before damage. I see. Tribal store stuff. Top bell. It's great we got a couple of our guys going over to GPU Portland. Yeah. You know, Gerard and I were planning to go to Portland. Oh, yeah? Just, I think next weekend. Yeah. But uh, our work Christmas party is next weekend. Oh. And we were informed by the boss in no uncertain terms that we cannot <laughs> go to Portland because we will miss the Christmas party. It's very important. And uh, you guys have all met Loretta on the street. 
We don't we don't say no to the boss. So I just saw a really cool magic card. Yeah. Really cool magic card. It'll it'll show up in the case in a few days. Ooh. Uh this is in response to the Thought Erasure. Michael is flashing in another Merfolk trickster. Yeah. No reason not to. Reese is super right here. He's only got a syncopate and some stuff in hand. Yeah, Reese is he's dead. Yep, there it is. Alright, game two. Yeah. So this is a this is pretty much exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Michael's game plan is very simple. Play yeah. something, put some something on it and keep swinging. Alright, sideboards. Some syncopates, pillar of origins, negates are coming in. Yeah. Three of them. Yeah, yep, for sure. What's coming out? Hmm. Whatever has a higher mana cost than Tempest Gin. I don't think there's anything higher than Tempest Gin. Usually. Exclusion mages. Yeah, those can probably come out. Yeah, that's not bad. Essence scatter. Yak Yak is our resident KCI. Yak Yak was on KCI before KCI yeah. was a thing. He was the originator, and we all know it. We all know it. Yeah. But the world doesn't. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a combo player. I love combo. I know you are yeah, you're a big fan of combo. Yeah. I like I like turning creatures sideways. Yeah, it's boring. I know. Turning have creatures you, sideways is have boring. Have you ever slammed your hand and your yes. whole arm down yes, on I like have. five creatures and then just went ah, and, yes, then, I have. and then one? I sure have. That's a lot of fun. That's what I enjoy. <laughs> for the ego boots. <laughs> We're here for you. Gotcha, Andy, no problem. I almost uh, I proxied the uh, the better Just Guy Sensei combo deck, which is the one that plays green. Uh, the more convoluted one. The, yeah, super convoluted <laughs> one that like just doesn't win sometimes. That, that deck was in standard, you know. They played that deck in standard with Sylvan Caryatid. Yeah. As the mana dork. Yeah. Yeah. But the one you're talking about is the one um, with. Uh, Fate Unraveler, right? Or, uh, yeah, Fate Stitcher. Fate Stitcher, that's yep. the one. Can't tap or untap something. Yeah. Uh, play the Deplant. Just have to kill a guy four different ways and walk through each of them with this and they're watching this. Ugh. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah. And then one guy tried to tell him he missed his trigger on the Ulamog cast. Or on the, um, on the, uh, Emrakul cast. That was really funny. And he cast Emrakul as they uh, conceded, they like, finished his turn. He's like, I'm going to take my second turn. He's like, oh, you didn't announce the trigger. You missed your trigger. And the judge comes in, no. It's only a missed trigger when it's relevant. If he forgets to do it when it becomes relevant, which is at the end of the turn, if he right. says, if it doesn't say he's taking his next turn, then he missed his trigger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dunderson, I'm actually not a fan of Kalia. Kalia the Vast? Uh, for EDH, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, Kalia is... Uh, well, she's, yeah. She's not my wheelhouse. She's gross. Yeah. Super gross. I no. still don't understand how a human, like a plain old human cleric can fly, though. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me, but, you know. Oh, no, she's 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 a powerhouse commander. She's not one I like to play against. I play, I play hug and commander. That's, that's like the most fun I've ever gotten is playing hug. Adelise is a wizard. Yeah, Gamlin has a very good Kalia deck. Alright, Michael's looking to keep here. He's got one Merfolk. I like this. This is not bad. Tide Binder. That's what it is. Is it a Tide Binder? It's Tide Binder. Uh, and some Negates. Uh, 
Our ADH thing is pretty casual, so I don't, I don't yeah. deal with oh, yeah. tier lists the, very the tier lists don't matter here. Yeah. You play what you want. Everybody plays something. We got a guy that plays Chise. <laughs> it was a trickster? Ah. Uh... one is Tidebiter? Is that the one that taps a red or green permanent? No, that card is... Oh, it is Trickster. Yeah. No, yeah, the one that... Well, Tide Tidebiter Binder is not is... in standard. Yeah, it's not in standard. It's blue-blue and it taps. Thank uh, you, Jake. She say Heart of Oceans, and you have to remove a counter from one of your permanents every turn, or you sacrifice it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a good commander card. Okay, this is the scry, because we're down to six. Thought Erasure to the bottom. We need to hit some lands. There is a turn one duress. Yeah, that's not bad. So, I would assume that one of those negates is going away. Probably the retort, because it just hits more things. Yeah. I guess it costs the same too, for the most part. Yeah, once once he's got the trickster out. So what do you think here? Another? Oh, I guess he didn't play a blue source. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thunder. Yak Yak played a Guildgate Tribal deck. I mean, just play what you like to play. The internet. Oh no. So we are currently offline. We are currently offline. So they can't hear us? Yes. Huh. All right. But we're still going to make it believe like Yeah, we're yeah. still going to talk. You know, we're still going to continue the commenting. Yeah. Because it's still being recorded and Jake can upload this part to YouTube. I think so. Yeah. So, we see a Curious Obsession and a Siren Storm Tamer. And Reese Michael's, <laughs> Yeah, Michael's still in a great spot. This Model Blue Temple is very well positioned against Control. Reese missed lands. He's only on two. Yeah, that That's too. Another a second Storm Tamer. So, even if he hits the lands and has the removal spells, he's Oh, no, sorry. Hit. He didn't miss land. He did get to three. Yeah. Oh, no. He was on play. Yeah, he missed land. Even if he hits the removal spells, though, with the Double Storm Tamer. Yeah. He's in a he's in a lot of trouble. And that's a unblockable miscloak herald, I think. Yes, that is a miscloak herald. I think the only way he reached out of this is ritual sip, but we know that Michael's got like two negates in hand. Yeah, yeah, and he's been very careful not to tap out. So we got to swing for three, four, five, six here. I believe. Three, four. Yes, that's six. Yeah. And I mean, Curious Obsession is very strong. Drawn more Storm Tamers, more Tricksters. There's another Herald. Oh no, it's a it's a sprite. The Night Veil sprite. The one that he's in hand. The one that surveils. The one he has. Michael has that in his hand. Yeah, it's in his hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look, wow. That's sweet. Yeah. That's nice. Reese had four thought. Erasures in his hand, or three thought erasures in his hand, and no that's blue. No blue. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, Lone Gopher, in case you can hear me, um, Brea is a straight up combo deck. Um, people who typically play Brea 